Well, hello there. Thank you for stopping by. What am I doing today? Well, I'm making some Starbucks Frappuccino dupes. Do you love Starbucks Frappuccinos? I know I do. I've even got a couple of iced coffee dupes. You're not going to want to miss these because you can do these on a budget. And I'm going to show you how. Come on in. Four of the fan favorites from Starbucks. These are the most popular drinks from Starbucks and these are dupes that you are absolutely gonna love. I'm gonna go so far as to say they taste exactly like the Starbucks drinks. The drinks I'm bringing to you today are the cookie crumble frappuccino, we've got the caramel frappuccino, the mocha frappuccino, and Kayla's absolute favorite, which was a must, is the iced white mocha. You're not gonna wanna miss these because they are quick, easy, and they are gonna save you a buck or two. Let's get to it. Let's start off with my favorite, the caramel frappuccino. You're gonna need some coffee grounds. Any coffee grounds will do using your favorite coffee. I happen to use Starbucks because I am a huge Starbucks fanatic. So I'm gonna take my coffee grounds and a reusable K-cup. This is such a budget-friendly way to brew coffee using a Keurig. These refillable K-cups are everything to me. When brewing my coffee, because I want a stronger cup, I'm gonna set it on the strong setting and I am going to brew the smallest cup of coffee that I have. Now throughout this video, this is the means of coffee that I will be using for each of the recipes. Some kind of blender is needed. I'm using the Magic Bullet. These are so convenient. To the Magic Bullet, I'm gonna add one cup of ice. To this ice, I am going to add about three-fourths cup of my brewed, my strong brewed coffee. I'm going to add a half a cup of whole milk, and I'm going to use some vanilla syrup. If you don't have vanilla syrup, vanilla extract will do. One teaspoon of that will do. And I'm going to add some sweetener. Here, I'm using stevia. You can use any sweetener that you like. This is one of my favorites because it is plant-based. Did I say this is caramel? The caramel that I'm using is this caramel sauce by Ghirardelli. This is amazing. Any caramel sauce will do. You're gonna need just a couple tablespoons full. Really, that is dependent on how much you want that caramel flavor to come through. And that's it, we are ready to blend. This is why I like to use the Magic Bullet because it's perfect for one drink, so you can almost get the measuring perfect every time. I feel like in a larger blender, it's a bit harder to do. Just like that, would you look at that? I've made a caramel frappuccino into this. We need some whipped cream. Of course we do, that's the best part. And a drizzle of some caramel. Love this stuff. Did I say this is my favorite? Yep, and we are good to go. Here is Starbucks dupe of a caramel frappuccino on a budget. Kayla's favorite, the iced white mocha. To this, I'm gonna add just a cup of ice. To this ice, I'm gonna go with 3 fourths cup of coffee. And I'm gonna go with whole milk. Now, whatever milk you wanna use really is dependent on you. Whole milk, to me, adds more flavor. Because this is an iced white mocha, I'm again going to use Ghirardelli's white chocolate sauce. And I'm gonna add about two tablespoonfuls. Give this a good stir. And there we have made a Starbucks dupe for an iced white mocha. And yes, Kayla does like whipped cream on her iced drinks, so we're gonna top it off with that. And that there is all there is to making an, oh, I'm gonna just top it off even more. There you go, now I can tell you. That's all there is to making this drink, and it is amazing. Ask Kayla. A fan favorite, a mocha frappuccino. Yep, you guessed it, we're gonna go with one cup of ice. 
to this ice, you're gonna add that three quarters cup of coffee, or if you want it a bit stronger, go with two shots of espresso. That'll get the job done. I'm using a half a cup of whole milk. You choose your milk. Although this is mocha, some vanilla syrup is a good addition because it adds flavor. We're gonna add some sweetener and some chocolate. Some chocolate syrup, that is Hershey's chocolate syrup. You're gonna add as much as you'd like to your drink, I'm going with about two tablespoons. And that's it, we are good for takeoff, for blending. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place this in the magic bullet, let it go for about 15 to 20 seconds. And would you look at the consistency of that? Perfection. We do need some whipped cream and some chocolate syrup drizzle. Yes, please. And this mocha frappe is amazing. The last fan favorite that I'm bringing to you today, a mocha cookie crumble. This one is Allie's favorite, decaf style. To this, yes, you guessed it, one cup of ice. Gotta add that three-fourths cup of strong coffee. No decaf here. A half a cup of whole milk. One teaspoon of vanilla. Gonna add just a bit of sweetener and the outsides of an Oreo cookie. Gonna toss those right inside the blender there cause that is the crumble in the cookie crumble. And if you didn't notice, all of these recipes really do have a base to them. It's kind of repetitive, and if you just kind of stick with that for each drink, you can pretty much make any frappuccino or iced coffee that your heart desires. And yeah, because it's a cookie crumble, we're gonna top it off with a bit of crumble. Oh my goodness, too bad this has coffee in it because it is mine and not Allison's. Delicious. Guess who else is a Starbucks lover? Yep, Winnie. Let's go get a puppuccino. Come on. Do you wanna go get a puppuccino? Are you sure? Okay, let's go. Let's go get a puppuccino. Get in. Good girl. Winnie, do you want your puppuccino? Winnie, here's your puppuccino. Now you know how easy it is to make these drinks so you can save a buck or two and you can make them whenever you want without having to go to Starbucks, unless you really want to. There are times when I just don't feel like getting in the car and going there. And now Kayla knows how to make her own iced white mocha. I hope you all enjoyed these Frappuccino dupes on a budget. If you try it, I'd like to hear how you liked it. For more of my hacks and DIYs, go ahead and click on the video over here and it will take you to more fun DIYs and videos. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, and bye for now.